Yeah, you saw it right. I'm holding a Black Knight Ultra Greatsword. Hooray! Another launch video! Posse Slayer is invading with the Black Knight Ultra Greatsword again. Yay! Do I have your attention now? Alright. So, uh, I've got a parking ticket framed in my living room. I'm being very serious right now. I have a parking ticket framed in my living room. Uh, to remind me to never uh, give second chances. To never help uh, people that uh, have proven to be shitheads. Alright, so here's how it goes. Uh, I know some people down in the town hall and I had this friend who had uh, a traffic ticket, a parking ticket, you know, for a parking violation and uh, it was it was nothing, it was like, uh, what, like, it was 40 bucks I think? F no, no, it was, yeah, f uh, 40 bucks. Oh, did you see that launch? Oh my god, Posse Slayer launched them again! Oh yeah! So, uh... I had the, this friend who had the parking ticket and uh, he asked me if I could do him a favor and uh, help him because he needed his car, they had took his license plates away and uh, he needed his car to do his to go to his uh, job. So I said alright, I'll, I'll go see what I can do. Not that he didn't pay the ticket, he did pay the ticket, but you know, he wanted me to talk to the people to get, uh, to get his car back. So I went down to the down hall and uh, watch this. Backstab, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh, yeah, you guess it right. Charge R2, boy! Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, I went down to the town hall to, to see what I can do about his license plates. And uh, I came with the receipt of uh, having uh, paid for the ticket. And uh, I asked them if uh, they could please return his license plates, you know, because he was doing. Uh, he, he needed to go to his uh, work. So, he need to go to his job, so uh, the, the person who was re responsible for uh, the traffic uh, violations, like uh, for the people who go out and uh, write down traffic violations, for, for the, they're not real cops, they're like, uh, they're not the police, they're like uh, municipal police, right? They, they're, they're, uh, their job is uh, just to write tickets. So anyway, the person responsible for them uh, brought the two officers that uh, the officer that uh, had made the ticket that had the written the ticket and uh, the officer that had written the ticket told me that this guy said uh, okay write me the ticket i don't care i'll uh, i'll get my license plates back the next day and uh, what this person did uh, was uh, do you like that party did you like that party <laughs> it was this i almost fell down I almost fell down. I was so fucking happy that I didn't die, and I was like, "All right, I'm. This is a mission from Miyazaki himself to beat this gang." And I was so fucking happy to survive that one. Uh, the the reason I got that party is because I rolled once to instigate that I was panicking, whilst I was not, and they decided to you know to punish my second uh, panic roll, which never happened, and that's why I parried them. Uh, so yeah, uh, where was I? Yeah, the, uh, the officer came in and, and told me that uh, he was going to take his license plate the next day and la 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 la. And uh, I felt like such a douchebag, like such a douchebag for that. Uh, anyway, they gave me the license plates back. Uh, they did give me the license plates back. And uh, when, I, when I went down uh, to find my friend and uh, give him his license plates back, all right, I got a motorbike, I got a chopper. So I had parked uh, right uh, down uh, the city hall. Uh, I was like uh, by the side of the city hall, so of the town hall. So when I went down to, to to find my friend to get on my bike and find my friend, they had served me a parking ticket because I had parked illegally in the corner <laughs> with my with my motorbike. So yeah, not only did I humiliate myself of. Uh, trying to vouch for a person that was uh, that was a jackass like not a bad person but uh, he was a jackass that back that backstab was bullshit i never get backstab fuck off uh so yeah not only did i humiliate myself like i felt like an idiot i i really did feel like an idiot because uh when you put your trust in people you need to and uh you, you find out that uh, they've done something stupid you know they've said something stupid what's this mm, fucking gothar uh, so I just killed uh, this host's uh, two phantoms and there's an invader uh, that has come in and uh, this invader has uh, has seen that I just killed his two phantoms didn't he? didn't they Didn't they just see that I killed the two phantoms? and what does the invader do? he just fucking stays there 
He just fucking stays there. And he decides he can help. Like how? Yeah, by casting spells. Uh, piece of advice, guys. Uh, don't cast spells when you're gonna chase someone down. Please don't. Because shit like this happens. And when shit like this happens, then shit like this will happen. So don't do that. So anyway, I did feel like an idiot for uh, trying to vouch for a person that uh, did something shitty. Because uh, when you put uh, your word in for a person and uh, they do something stupid, you know. it's uh, It reflects very bad on you and it makes you feel uh, like... Uh, because you're, you're responsible for that person. But I didn't care. That was a town hall. I didn't care. So... I took that ticket, I paid for my ticket, luckily they didn't take my license plates. Uh, this wasn't uh, the punishment for it, was only like uh, 20 bucks, it wasn't uh, for... Uh, it w the punishment wasn't to take my license plates, it was just 20 bucks. And uh, I took the... I, I paid the ticket on the spot, I did pay it on the spot, like uh, I was under the town hall, <laughs> I was out, right outside. So I did pay on the spot and uh, I took the ticket and I bought a frame and I framed it and I have it in my living room. I, I really do. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And people ask me all the time, why do I have it? And uh, that, this is the story I tell them because uh, I vouch for someone. I was so angry at that invader. I was so fucking angry and it nearly cost me the invasion. But luckily the host wanted to finish me off. So th he didn't pay attention at that invader. And uh, useless as he, as he was, the invader, he did take the host out. So, thank you invader, but please don't fucking cast spells on me again. Oh god, I'm no, I'm, I know, I know, I know, I'm an asshole, I know, I'm sorry guys. Uh, if you've lost your attention, uh, can I please get it back? Don't worry, don't worry, you see a uh, launch R2, like, uh, right now, what's this? Mmm, run attack, R2, mmm, launch. What am I gonna do, am I gonna let him go? No boy, you're staying here. Uh, he was a good guy, he was a good fellow. That was a fun invasion. Uh, they're good guys. So anyway, I have this uh, ticket framed uh, in order to remind myself to never put in a word for anybody. Like, uh, to never, not to trust, I trust, I do trust people. I, uh, I really do trust, but I rarely give second chances and uh, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it is, uh, there was uh, some, uh, there was a, a certain situation that uh, happened and that reminded me of this story. And, uh, like, you shouldn't be assholes. You, sh you really shouldn't be assholes. Uh, like, if you're salty and uh, you invaded uh, someone and they gank you, like this guy. This guy ganks me all the time, right? He's invading too sometimes. I'm not salty about him. I'm not salty. I waved. I said hello. See? So, what happened is uh, I invaded a gank and uh, there was another red right where, I, right where I spawned and he was AFK. And I was like, all right, uh, I don't want to engage the gang with uh, only one invader at my side while the other was AFK. So I decided to kill the other invader. But uh, it turns out as soon as I hit the other invader, uh, he, he wasn't AFK. Uh, and he said like uh, he had gone for a piece or something. Oh, this, uh, this fandom, yeah, was very happy. I think he parried me once. Or twice, I don't know. I think once, yeah, he parted me once because I telegraphed my my moves. So yeah, anyway, I attacked uh, this uh, red, I attacked this invader as soon as I saw that he was AFK and then he came back and, okay, and then I stopped and he was chasing me, he was still chasing me. And uh, I was uh, I was salty, I was throwing uh, stalk tank pies at him and I was, I was not fighting him afterwards he came too, but... Uh, I was uh, running away, was, I was actually running towards the gang. Nice party. That was a very nice party. Oh no, you don't deserve it. Because you are party spamming. I'm not, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. So, uh, yeah, I, um, I, uh, I ran away, I ran towards the gang after I attacked the other invader. And I was throwing dunk pies at him because, because he was still very salty and he was still attacking me. Nice phantom raids, dumbass. <laughs> uh, I was, uh... I was very salty that he kept attacking me even though I stopped attacking him. So, yeah, but he had his rights. He had his rights to be mad. Although, I thought uh, as soon as we reached the gang, he would actually try and fight as an invader. That's, that was why I went for the gang. And um, as you can see, uh, I, I attacked an invader before, in the, uh, like in the previous invasion, because uh, he was attacking him. And... Uh, I, I attacked him because he was uh, getting in my way and actually doing more damage to me than the host. And uh, the other invader probably had his rights to be mad about me. 
and uh, as soon as I approached the gang, uh, the other red uh, killed me. <laughs> they all came down on me, and he killed me, and he was throwing shit, and there was some exchange of uh, love mail afterwards. He was actually very mad, but I was very calm, and I was right, alright dude. Mmm, double party! The boss slayer, the vice president of Gang City Invaders! Did you watch that? That was so sick! So, yeah, I, um... I m we made amends. We did make amends. Uh, but he was <laughs> he was mad for like five ten minutes. But it's all right. It's all right. Uh, shit happens. Uh, I, I, w I got mad too at the other invader. Uh, like uh, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite or something. I I get salty in game too. But uh, afterwards I like I get over it. I do get over it. Like I don't send help, hate mail. But you never know uh, how what day a person might have had and how they will react. So. Uh, after the game is over, try and uh, you should try and be. I had the lance on me. You should try and be and give a chance. At least give one chance and uh, and give a chance to make amends. Always, always give a chance to make amends, but not a second chance because uh, you will end with uh, a parking ticket framed uh, in your living room and uh, it's uh, it's gonna make you feel like an idiot. Like uh, all right, always give a second chance. Uh, or, or like a first chance, I, I should say, but n uh, never a second. Like, uh, do you know Dimebug, the ganker in Gang City? Do you know who made Dimebug? We, we, us invaders made him. So, uh, Dimebug was uh, an invader in Gang City. He invaded all the fucking time. He was the same, he was the same, the ultra, the paired ultra great swords and the dragon slayer great axe. And he, he, he didn't change his MO in terms of uh, build, in terms of variety. Uh, and uh, one day uh, we we were seeing uh, Dimebag invading all the time and getting his ass kicked. And but we we really did admire him. As invaders, uh, I mean, uh, my posse, my friends, we really did admire Dimebag. And uh, I I was lucky to get a guard break. I don't know how I got it. So I saw the Phantom. I don't know if you see if you saw the Phantom. I saw the Phantom and I immediately rolled after the R2 because I saw that he was behind me. Uh, and uh, one day we decided to to help him out, give him sick brows, give him uh, souls, give him uh, divine blessings, give him weapons, give him literally everything, everything he would ever want. And we taught him how to save scum, you know, in PS4 you can save scum, like uh, upload the save with uh, full sick brows and full souls, and uh, then uh, what's the Gothard L1, mm, so nice, 300 damage, and then I realized I didn't have my Leering on, I could, uh, I would have probably killed the guy, yeah, uh, Leering does work guys, especially on uh, physical infusions, so one day we gave him uh, everything, and I'm not joking, the very next day, the very next day he became a ganker, and he became a ganker and he started throwing shit at us, and pointing down, and uh, disconnecting, and uh, <laughs> It was, dude, it was so fucking weird, it was so weird, like, you help someone, and uh, and we always ad did admire, we always did admire him, uh, he had, uh, because uh, he wasn't good at invading, he sucked, he sucked at invading, but you know what, he did keep invading, he kept invading, uh, he, he never uh, black crystalled out in invasions, he never ganked once, but as soon as... Uh, as soon as we helped him out, <laughs> he became <laughs> he became a ganker, and that was uh, that was weird. That was weird. Uh, but I guess it happens. Anyway, as you realize, the theme of uh, today's video isn't only bad uh, co-invaders; it's uh, good co-invaders, and it's survival. Literally surviving uh, gangs. Uh, I'm not a specialist in survival. My my mate uh, Poliv and Vlad Esten are specialists in survival. And Casper, oh my god, Casper is uh, very... If, if uh, those guys don't want to die, they, they're not going to die. Uh, Vurkos is pretty good at survival too, but uh, you know, uh, I beat Vurkos anytime I want, so you know guys. I'm joking, I'm joking, in case you don't know, Vurkos is my mate. So, I was so lucky I saw Mozo invaded, I don't know the guy, but I was so lucky that I saw another invader invade like at that moment, because I, I was almost out of Estes, I was in a pickle. And they were all on me, and yeah, he left. <laughs> he immediately left. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so what I was saying, yeah, survival. Uh, I was running the whole map. This invasion took like nine, ten minutes, 
and uh, all three of them were laggy. Uh, and I only got uh, a good invader like right now. This guy, this guy's a god. This guy is fucking awesome. He's like the the only good invader I got in this invasion. And uh, I had only one Estes, and the host was laggy. And uh, to be honest, I had uh, I was I am out of shape. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's a statement. It's a statement. I am a bit out of shape, as you can see, because uh, I, as you know, I'm only recovering. Uh, from uh, my health problems, so I I'd only just recovered from my health problems. Uh, so yeah, I was lucky I got the other invader. <laughs> Nothing can beat an R1 straight source bomb. Uh, and I w uh, for a moment I felt like uh, we were gonna win, but uh, the Aldrich was uh, attacking the other invader too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm yelling. I shouldn't yell. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, yeah. Invaders aren't familiar with the thermal friendly fire. It's not that I don't. Uh, Attack by accident, my mates, uh, my friends. See, I I was rolling because I was waiting. I was waiting for the lag uh, spike to end. Uh, it's not that uh, I don't do. Now this is a brain fart. I thought I would roll catch him. I thought that he would roll, but no. It's not that I don't uh, friendly fire my co invaders, but uh, mainly I try to I try to mind uh, not to hit them. Thank God they were preoccupied by me. Thank God. This is a guard, but I didn't take. Damn it! And uh, I do it all the time. But it would be nice if you like uh, keep in mind not to. I don't know, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I got uh, more clips and I got more uncut clips. Uh, if you're interested in uncut invasions and watching them, please let me know because I've got lots of them and uh, with a lot of salt and drama. Oh, and uh, here's your uh, charge dart too with uh, the Black Knight Ultra Great Sword. I'm sorry. Did you see? I did hit another invader.